Hello, and welcome to this tips and tricks video on Seek Notifications. Seek Notifications became available in version R60 and later. If you do not see the option for notifications, please check with your administrator as it might need to be enabled. We'll start with condition notifications. Condition notifications are basically a way to get notified whenever a condition in any workbench that you have configured triggers. In order to configure a notification, Pick the condition of interest. In this case, I'm going to use the quality excursion that I have here. Click the item properties button. And you will now see below the description field, you have the ability to add notifications for whenever that condition triggers. Once you click that button, you'll have some ability to customize your notification layout, what you're receiving in the email. So in this case, I might want to be a little more descriptive in terms of what the notification name is. Note it defaults to the name of the condition. So we can add a little more color here if we'd like, including maybe I want to change this from quality to density. You also have the ability to include various capsule properties. And beginning in R61, you can also include a custom email text. So if you want to add a little more information to be included in the email, you can do that right here in the notification modal. But also you can include seek links. So if I wanted to include a link to the workbench, I can attach a link via the Q button in the upper left there. And then lastly, if you want to include uh, a link to a different location, you can of course do that as well. So in this case, maybe I have some hypothetical unit procedure I want to include a link to, and uh, you can include that link as well. Once you're satisfied with the email body, you can specify who you would like to receive these emails. It will default to your name, but you can also add other Seek users as well as external users, if you so please. In this case, we'll remove Bob from that distribution. Now, you do also have the ability to include custom properties in your email body. So in this case, I wrote a property to this condition called product to indicate which product I was running. For more on that, check out the description on how to set properties in Seek. There's also an advanced section, which I will not cover during this video, but you can do things like look forward in time for capsules in the future, such as predictions, and get notified on those as well. To see how often Seek will be checking for new conditions, you can see that at the top of the modal, this defaults to every 15 minutes and might be dependent on your admin setting as well as your server load. Once your notification is saved, you can check the setup both in the item properties. So under notifications, you'll now see the notification that we just configured. And of course, you have the ability to edit that modal as well if you want to change things to the notification. Note also next to the condition in the details pane, you'll see a little alarm bell there, which indicates that a notification has been set up against that particular condition. And by clicking on it, uh, just like through the item properties, it will bring you back to that modal and allow you to make any modifications that are necessary. If you want to get an overview of all the notifications that you set up, come up to your name in the upper right, and there's a notifications management link. And if you click on that, it'll open a new tab in your browser, and it will list all the notifications that are set up under your name. Now, administrators will see all the notifications configured for that system. In the notifications management, you can edit your notifications, disable them, or delete them as well. Now to see what an email that has been triggered might look like, I'm gonna come over here to my Outlook, and you'll see notifications will be coming from Seek Alerts, alerts at seek.com. If you're not seeing these emails, please check your junk or other folder to make sure they're not getting filtered out by your email provider. If I open up one of the alert emails, you can see it contains the text that we entered during the notification setup. It will include the link to the workbench in this case. So if we click on that, you'll notice it will launch right into a view only mode of that workbench and filter in on the time the excursion occurred. It'll also contain some information about the capsules that were generated. In this case, there's only one capsule with a start date and end date, as well as some information 
including the product property that I included in the notification. To unsubscribe, you can click the unsubscribe link. If you're logged into the server, it will allow you to auto unsubscribe. If you're not logged into the system or don't have access, it will just provide the admin email so they can remove you from the distribution list. We also have notifications in organizer topic. To configure those, you need to have an auto updating date range, which will be associated with a document schedule. You can add notifications to that schedule by clicking the edit button next to the next scheduled update. So here I have one set at 545. And notice now there is a notify when schedule runs section. So if we expand that, just like before, you're able to add recipients to this. So I'll just add myself. So you'll be notified whenever that schedule runs. Optionally, you can also include a PDF of the organizer topic. Do note that needs to be enabled by your administrator. So if that's not available to you, contact your administrator so they can work with us on getting that functionality enabled if that is desired. Once the scheduled document is saved, you will automatically receive an email at the scheduled frequency containing, in this case, a PDF of the organizer topic. To view or configure the schedule, you can hit the edit button next to the next scheduled update, or you can change things like how often you want these to update or the distribution list. Alternatively, just like before, if you want to see all your schedules, you can always come up to your name, go to notifications management, and in this case, you can see there's also a organizer tab. So if you click on that, you'll see the organizer topics that you have scheduled to be run on the various frequencies. And as with the condition notifications, you have the ability to delete them or go to the organizer to make the modification that you desire. In terms of the emails that you will be receiving, it's going to be very similar to the condition email. Note we don't have the capability to do custom bodies yet for organizers. But you can see it'll include various links, including the unsubscribe, and in this case, a PDF of the document as we have configured it. In this case, every morning, I will be receiving this document with the updated latest data. This concludes our tips and tricks video on notifications. For more information and support, please visit support.seek.com. Thank you.